Hey everybody, Brett here with Summit Automotive and you are in my personal studio from my home right now. Um, I was going to do this at work, but it's just there's too many people, too many things going on when I'm at work to do a video like this. So welcome to my studio, I guess. I've got Hot Wheels all over the walls and such, so um, it's kind of the thing I do on my days off. Anyways, uh, so... We had a, this is the year-end review video, and we had a very good 2023. We had a pretty good 2022. Um, and depending on whether you're looking at used cars or new cars, uh, you can say, well, we had a worse used car m year or we had a better new car year. Uh, but really what it comes down to is, you know, making our customers happy and delivering as many vehicles as possible so that we create that positive experience for our customers and they keep coming back and sustain the dealership and everybody that works for the dealership. So I have a little bit of stats that I did. Uh, just took basically some of our sales numbers from last year to this year. Uh, I also manage all the details at Summit. Uh, so I have those stats too and I wanted to give you those stats because it's uh, something interesting that I've noticed a uh, direct correlation between the amount of details, full details that we do and record to the amount of used cars we sell in a year or a month or a week or whatever. It's, it's pretty crazy and that correlates with, you know, how many videos I'm doing for the YouTube channel uh, to get, you know, the most merchandised vehicles up there um, timely. So anyways, without further ado let's uh, get into the numbers here so 2022 we sold 1,352 used vehicles in 2022 that comes down to about 112.6 vehicles a month and uh, we actually took a little bit of a dip in 2023 we sold 1,254 vehicles in 2023 which is an average of 104.5 um, vehicles a month so now you can look at that one of two ways like oh we had a drop in uh, sales uh, the used car market is slumping uh, there was several factors that went into that this year and one of the biggest factors was that we got the new Jeep showroom which you guys have seen um, and the new Jeep showroom brought an abundance of we got a better allocation of Jeeps so we pretty much have like a hundred new Jeeps on our lot right now, just Grand Cherokees. And uh, if you go on to count the Wranglers, the Wagoneers, the Compasses, uh, the Renegades, I bet we have close to 160 new Jeeps on our lot right now, which is a, a big increase in an inventory interest that we got to pay on that inventory. So we weren't able to expand the used cars as much as we liked. And we actually had to like contract that a little bit so to only go down about eight vehicles a month in used I think is a direct correlation to what happened with the new cars and our allocation how many we got uh, because new cars do take time to picture video uh, they take time to set up road readies stuff like that so when you're doing new cars you can't do used cars and when you're doing used cars you can't do new cars so and we only have so many people working for us and there's only so much space to do these road readies to take these pictures to clean these vehicles so uh, we are confined by the size of our buildings right now and the size of our dealership uh, so to only go down eight vehicles with the dramatic increase of new cars I thought was probably a direct correlation. I don't think it really had much to do with the market. I don't think it had much to do with our advertising. I don't think it had much to do with our merchandising because that has not changed in the past seven, eight years since I've been doing the inventory here at Summit Auto, which was uh, late 2016. So that's that. It was a good used car year. We uh, sold a lot of vehicles, made a lot of people happy. Um, you know, eventually <laughs> you're not going to get everybody happy, but, you know, we had a very good year reviews wise um, and customers wise. So thank you to everybody that bought a vehicle from us in 2023 and 2022, of course. And uh, we look forward to 2024 to uh, make you happy with your next vehicle, whether that be used or new. Uh, 
Now getting to the new side, this is where it gets interesting because we sold in 2022, we sold 303 new cars. So traditionally new cars in Wisconsin do not sell as well as used cars. Uh, there's, you know, they're more expensive. Um, you know, you have to, with a brand, you have to kind of have that niche of people. And there's so many people in a area that buy a vehicle from you that's new because you can get a new car. So for example, you can get a new car here in Fond du Lac. You can get a new car in Oshkosh. You can get a new car in Appleton. You can get a new car in Green Bay. Um, and you can get the same car at any of those dealerships, uh, Waupon, Beaverdam, wherever. If you can get a new car, a new car is a new car and you can get it from anywhere uh, that has a new car franchise. So that's a little bit harder on the new car side to grasp all the customers in a state, especially when so many cities have their own franchise dealership. Anyways, 2022, we sold 303 new cars uh, and trucks, and that would be an average of 25.25 for 2022 on the new car side. Now, because of that increase of inventory, because of the Jeep showroom, uh, because of a more focused approach from the dealership standpoint on new cars, uh, in 2023, we sold 561 new cars. That is a total of, or an average of 46.75 new cars a month. We almost doubled our new car sales per month in 2023. So that is one of the reasons we had a little bit of a dip on the used side. Um, but overall, now if you go to totals for new and used, we sold 1,655 new and used vehicles in 2022, which came out to an average of 137 vehicles a month, 137.9. And on the 2023, we sold 1,850 vehicles. So that was a very good year and we averaged 151 vehicles, 151.25 for 2023. So overall, you wanna combine new and used. We had a better year in 2023 over 2022. Um, and I think a lot of that was just because we got more new cars and we had to focus our attention to the new cars because they were there and we gotta sell them. So um, like I said, we only have so many people in our dealership and we only have so much space in our dealership. So you increase in one, you're gonna decrease in the other. We'd love to increase in both, but it's just not always the case. Uh, so getting back to uh, the thing I said before with details, so I'm the detail manager, technically. I'm, I'm more of like the detail orchestrator. I, I make sure that we're cleaning the right vehicles and that uh, they're getting on our list to get set up uh, before they get into detail so that when they come out of detail, we can picture them and video them and just get them right on the lot. So uh, what's interesting though, since I've been doing this, which was 2016, it's almost an identical correlation between the amount of details we do in a month, a month and the amount of used vehicles we sell in a month. And uh, 2022 was a very a uh, good example of that, in 2022, we sold 1,352 vehicles and we detailed 1,354 vehicles, which is like a 0 0.01 difference. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and then in 2023, we sold 1,254 used vehicles and we detailed 1,219 used vehicles um you know part of the de decrease there i think is in 2022 we sold a lot of sports cars sports cars come in cleaner they uh take less time to detail we can run them through our shop so one detailer can probably detail three to four sports cars a day where they might be all day on one truck that's pretty dirty so uh, that's just kind of where we were at so uh, once again uh, we did a lot of sales this year and it was really good total of 1815 for the total of the store. So great job. Thanks to everybody at summit who contributed to, um, getting the vehicle set up.
getting them, you know, uh, cleaned up and getting them merchandised and all the salespeople that sell them and the, the finance people that get them approved and just the buyers and everybody up and down the board that at the dealership, the, the ladies in back that do all the paperwork, uh, everything's got to flow just, just right for all this stuff to to go good and not have a lot of problems and stay in business. It's a, the dealership world is a very, it's, it's simple but it's complex in the different departments and how they all have to work together between service parts detail sales um, and back office and finance and everything is it's just a it's just got to fit perfect anyway so thank you to everybody at summit we had a great 2023 we're looking for more in 2024 of course as always because we got to keep the ball rolling everybody's got to um you know keep their families going and, and keep their livelihoods going here too so anyways uh little bit more on for the personal side of me on the YouTube side um, so the YouTube is kind of uh, I started it I manage it I everything on there is everything I do so it's it's kind of I use the YouTube channel to help us sell vehicles and I also use the YouTube channel to promote Jeep um, and stuff like that so it's kind of, uh, sorry, my screens went black there. Anyways, uh, so it's it's kind of my personal thing to help the dealership to sell vehicles. And so it's it's pretty much my channel, but it's Summit's, I, I use it at Summit pretty much strictly for work. So um, that being said, I thought it might be interesting to go over some of the um, history and like how it got started and how long I've been doing the YouTube channel. So a little bit about this just this year. So in 2022, we did I did 961 walk around videos new and used um, 961 videos. That's that's quite a lot of videos. I don't even know what that comes out to monthly. It's probably I don't even know. 60 70 monthly I can do my calculator real quick here but it's a big commitment and you know a lot of people always ask me like oh is YouTube worth it and it's like a it's like a big it's a big time suck and it's you know it's it's not I'm sure you could probably make more money doing DoorDash for less time but then you're putting wear and tear in your car um, you know so there's like side hustles you can do YouTube is because I get to use it to help sell cars and it helps me it's a win-win for everybody so in 2022 I averaged about 80 videos a month so that's about 20 videos a week on just vehicle walk-arounds where I'm showing the vehicle showing the cleanliness making sure that our customers out of state can see just how clean they are um, that's why I do the videos so that our customers don't have to question if a vehicle is going to have damage to it if it's going to be just a big pile of junk because there's so many dealers out there that just put stuff up line they don't fix anything they don't make anything look good and it just they just and telling i can tell you from personal experience uh, just at our dealership the only time we ever get bad reviews is if the vehicle gets out of service gets a price and does not get cleaned up properly that's usually when we don't get a good review um, and that's just inevitable if you want to come by the vehicle right away before it even gets set up that it's usually within a week that that happens and uh, you know we can't really help that in 2023 uh, we did 881 videos which was a de decrease but once again I truly believe that's because we did less sports cars um, and that's still 73 vi videos a month so seven less videos a month um, anyways that being said YouTube's funny how it works because uh, just because you put out less videos doesn't mean you're gonna get less watch time and it's really about the quality of the videos so I'm always looking to do new stuff like this new stuff like the lot walks that we did we did 26 lot walks in 2023 I'm hoping to do one a week it's just so tough sometimes I've got because I manage about seven or eight guys 
and girls and uh, in my department and I got to make sure that they're working and I got to make sure that uh, you know the dealership comes first before the YouTube channel so um, sometimes I'm just too busy that's what it is and uh, <laughs> anyway so uh, getting back to the YouTube channel in 2014 I started in sales at Summit Automotive before that I worked for a dealership um, a family dealership that I had worked at since 2006 full-time and I'd worked there previously since 1998 um, so I've been in the car business a long time I was doing their internet I was fixing computers I was writing descriptions for vehicles I was taking pictures and then in 2007 we started doing videos at that dealership and I was one of the first people on the internet uh, to advertise pretty much every single vehicle on our lot with a video and I actually worked with Auto Trader to get videos up on their website and uh, I believe they still use the same system or very similar system that we came up with years and years ago back in 2007 or 2008 I worked with a guy from Iowa named Sud here at with Auto Trader to get those up anyways so I've been doing videos for a long time but I'm always looking to do the videos better, more efficiently, um, and just help sell cars better. So anyways, uh, in 2013, I came to Summit. And in 2014, I quickly realized that we had customers from out of state. And we were, we were not doing videos because I wasn't in the internet department. I was actually selling vehicles. So um, I created the YouTube channel to make videos and put them online so that I could show my customers the vehicle when they called it's just easier to upload a video to YouTube and then send them the link to YouTube so that they can watch it in HD and you don't have to worry about texting and is the file too big do they have a compatible phone put it on YouTube send them the link they're good to go so in 2014 I had um, 10,000 I started the channel really late in 2013 and in 2014 I started uploading videos and just for my customers and I had 10,600 views I had 283 hours of watch time and I got eight subscribers so that was and at the time I, I really wasn't even I wasn't looking for subscribers um, I hadn't really done YouTube in three or four years prior to that I had handed that off to the previous place I worked at I wasn't managing the channel anymore they weren't really using the channel anymore so <clears throat> I didn't uh, I didn't know anything about YouTube other than that's where I put videos and send them to customers so in 2015 uh, I had 18,500 views and 519 hours of watch time and my subscribers went up 19 to 27 so that was uh, exciting and then in 2016 which was the year that my twins were born we had um, that's when I switched to the current position I'm in so 2016 there's an increase here because I started uploading videos I, I went into the inter internet department and merchandising department and started doing the videos for all the used cars so naturally the more videos you do the more exposure you have on YouTube the more views you're gonna get so in 2016 um, my views went up to 48,300 and I had a watch time of 1600 hours of watch time my subscribers went up to 104 from 27 so that was a 77 subscriber increase which was exciting and then in 2017 just because of the sheer number of vehicles we were doing and how many videos I was putting up my views increased also in 2017 I believe is when they came out with the Wrangler J JL but not till late 2017 and then we had a 2017 JK come out in 2017 it was so they you could get the JK and the JL in 2018 that's how it was we had a 2018 JK that came out so the classic body style and I put that up as a brand new 2018 Jeep Wrangler 
it was kind of click clickbait, but it was the JK. That video went crazy. I got almost 500,000 views on that video alone since I put it up. But that year, my uh, and I'm guessing that's where a lot of this watch time came from. Uh, 2017, my watch time went up, or views went up to 602,600 views in 2017. So it went up quite a bit. And then the watch time went up to 23,600 hours from 1,600 hours. So it was a 20, almost a 20 times increase in watch time, which was crazy to me. But the, another big thing happened in 2017, my uh, subscribers went up from 104 to over 1,000. I had 1,081 subscribers, <coughs> excuse me, in 2017. And what that allowed was allowed me to monetize the YouTube channel. Now, what that does is uh, you can run ads on the videos, which we do on vehicles that are no longer in stock. So um, basically you run ads and then Google gets a cut, you get a cut a little bit. Uh, so, but 2017 made me realize that, you know, there was potential in YouTube to produce some sort of revenue. So uh, 2017, I was able to monetize the channel and that motivated me to do even more videos and better videos and increase watch time, increase subscribers, uh, just to, because it benefits me and it benefits the dealership. The more subscribers I have, the more views are on the dealership, the more views are on our inventory. I've, I get people all the time that watch our videos that say, hey, I want to I want to come buy this or I want to talk to somebody about this. So I just direct them right to sales and they talk to our salespeople and sometimes we sell the vehicles. We had a guy fly in from New Jersey, I think, bought a brand new Rubicon Wrangler from us and he's like, yeah, I watched the video and I had to have it. So it works. Anyways, so the more views, the more subscribers, uh, the better for our dealership, the better for me, everybody wins. So 2018 was a monster year. And <clears throat> as far as views, my views almost doubled uh, 1,152,000 views in 2018. And we went up to 53,700 watch time hours and subscribers went up to 2,900 subscribers. 2019 was very similar, 1,218,000 views and 48,200 watch time hours. Uh, so more views, less watch time on 2019 over 18. Uh, and my subscribers though went up 4,800 to 4,800 subscribers. And 2020, I decided that I was going to, because I had started seeing some monetary success with YouTube in 2019. <coughs> and at the end of 2019, I decided I'm going to start working on the thumbnails, the titles, and really focus in my focus on YouTube. Uh, still do everything else with the, the vehicles and everything, but YouTube, I was going to focus and just work really hard at that. And it's pretty much become a second job for me. I work all day, I do the videos at night, and then I edit the videos at night and put them up. So it's like I'm working two jobs, it's fine. but. Hey, yeah. but anyways, 2019, at the end of 2019, I said, I'm going to really focus on this. And the results show I worked on thumbnails, titles, and uh, better walk arounds, better equipment. I've got wireless microphones now. Um, and just everything I try to make better with the channel, end screens, uh, you know, you name it, cards, links in the descriptions, better descriptions, all that. 2020, so 2019, I had 1.2 million views. I changed my strategy in 2020, and I went up to 4.4 million views on YouTube in 2020. And I had 168,000 watch time hours, so that's times three over 2019. And my <coughs> subscribers went up to 12,400. And 2021, 4.6 million views, 178,000 hours of watch time and my subscribers went up to 19.4 and 2022 was 4.4 million views and 156,000 
watch time hours and subscribers went up to 26,000 subscribers. So 2022 was a very good year for YouTube. 2021 was the best. It was during COVID. I think a lot of people, I think it was coming out of COVID. A lot of people had money. A lot of people were shopping. A lot of people were online. And uh, that's why we had more views, more watch time hours and all that. But 2023 was, and I attribute this to better videos, scripts, I guess. I do better scripts uh, when I'm doing my used vehicle walkarounds and just try to focus in more on the viewer on my um, new car walkarounds so that everybody sees exactly what's going on. Also, the fact that the 2024 Jeep Wrangler came out is a huge thing too because a lot of the viewers on our channel are Jeep Wrangler fans and I know that. So the 2024 Wrangler had a lot of videos on there for that and that's why. But 2023, we had 5.193 million views on the channel. So thank you so much. I, I can't even believe it from all the people that subscribe, that watch, that watch daily. Uh, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I'm humbled, blessed, all that good stuff. Thank you so much. And uh, we had 187,000 watch time hours and the subscribers went up to 33,700. So it was a fantastic year on YouTube. It was a really good year for the dealership. It was a good year for details. It was a good year for videos. Uh, we really got our team dialed in for detail. I'm happy with where I'm at there. And uh, we got a lot of new sales guys this year, lost some veterans, but I think the new guys, we have a really good core of salespeople that truly care about the customer, are smart, knowledgeable, and can really give our customers a great experience. And that's really what it comes down to and what it's all about. So anyways, I hope that was, I know it was long. I don't even know how long it was. I feel like it was 25 minutes of talking. I can tell because my throat's all dry and stuff. So anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And uh, here we go into 2024. Comments, questions, concerns, scathing rebuttals, leave them in the comments below. I answer 90, 5% of all the comments on the channel unless I don't know the answer and then I try and find the answer and then comment on them. Either way, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for checking out the video and uh, from my home studio here. Have a great day and have a happy and productive 2024. Here we go.